Alrighty, this is Kobashi and Kawada. This is their third encounter for the Triple Crown title. At this point in time, uh, Kawada is champion, as you can see there. Oh, volume down a little bit. Oh, my headset. Um, so Misawa was champion last time we checked in on this story, and Kobashi was unsuccessful at winning the Triple Crown title from him. But since then, Soshiaki Kawada has taken it, and now we are here. The last two times these men fought for the title, the first time Kawada was champion, uh, and it went to a 60 minute time limit draw. The second time they fought, Kobashi came in as champion. 60 minute time limit draw. So, <laughs> both matches have been 60 minutes, so God knows what to expect with this one. And the crowd definitely behind Kobashi, as always. Part of the Super Generation Army. And Kawada from the Holy Demon Army. Kawada has definitely established himself as one of the top guys here in all Japan. And this is going to be a good one. I mean, like I said, these last few matches have had been absolute bomb burners, having two draws and then going into this match, like, what, what, what do we even expect here? I mean, I was going to say they tip the tap one and one, but not even that. It's no one, neither of these guys can beat the other one. They're just so evenly matched. And here we go. The bell rings. And I mean, grab some food, settle in, because you could be here for 60 minutes knowing these two. Get some popcorn, get a comfy seat ready. No more cans here. This match takes place on June 12th, 1998. Shoki Kawada won the belt back in May on the 1st from Misawa. This is Kawada's second reign with the title. And if Kobashi wins here, it'll be his second reign as well. He only held the title once, and that's, we saw that last time. He defended it against Kawada before losing it to Misawa. Oh, nice test of strength here. Kawada dropping down to one knee. Kawada in trouble as Kobashi exerts dominance here. Into the corner. Kabashi sort of backing up a little bit here. One up for a chop, maybe. Big man tie up. Go behind from Kawada. Hands around the waist. Onto the ground. Now you got Kawada here on top of Kabashi. Hands around the jaw there. Kawada in control as he gets on the ground now. Good transition here. Got the leg hooked around the right leg of Kabashi. Notice that knee still taped up as well. Until the knee worked over in the last match from Kabashi and Misawa. That knee is still a weak point. Now look at this driving the point of the elbow right under the shoulder blade, I think. The nerve ending that runs along down the other side of the shoulder blade. That can be a lot of pain. Trying to get a choke hold here, but Kabashi desperately trying to weave out. North South now goes behind, goes Kabashi. Nice mat wrestling go behind from Kawada. Down on the ground here. Now Kobashi in control. Oh, rolling through. He's got hold of the arm here. Could potentially, like, Kimura no on top is Kobashi. Maneuvering around, trying to slip the arm out here, potentially. On top again is Kobashi, got hold of that arm. But look at this, Kawada got his hands locked to prevent Kobashi from locking in. Key lock here. Got his hands interla interlace the fingers. Very smart strategy. 
And Kawada trying to roll out of this. Oh, he's got the hand free, but now trying to look it up again. Transitioning. Ooh, got the legs around the head here. Still hooking that left arm of Kawada. Oh, transitions going on top. Legs around the head. Kawada, good takedown. Now Kawada on top again. On the back, Kawada. Once again, the dominant position. Kibashi standing. And the crowd applauds as both men stare each other down, seemingly evenly matched on the ground game. I'm trying to think of other matches I want to try and comment on. Once I'm done with all of Kibashi's All Japan stuff, I might, um... Who else can I do? I can do some Masawa. Masawa and Kawada's matches are great. I want to do some women's wrestling. I want to do <clears throat> some Minami Toyota matches. There's a tag match with Kobashi, um, him and Kikuchi against Furnas and Crawford. It's my favourite tag match ever. I might do that at some point too. Joseph Montesillo, he's a content creator on YouTube. He did a video about that match and it, oh, it's so good. <laughs> Side headlock here from Kobashi. Look at this. Look at these arms on Kobashi. And Kawada punching away. Now rebounding off the rope, sending. Oh, look at this. Countering. Steak. Oh, off ropes again. Another push off, maybe. Oh, there's a drop right to the neck. A few times now. Side headlock takedown. Kobashi in control here. Applying the side headlock on the ground. Kobashi in the driver's seat here. Where can Kawada go from here? Oh, just wrenching that neck. All the body weight on the chest and using the arms to pull the head upward. Stretching out the neck. Good positioning here from Kobashi. Kawada now up onto his knees. A bit of freedom here. I think Kawada's kind of got his hand there. Oh, no, never mind. I say he could try and break up, alleviate some of the pressure on the side of his temples here, but Kawashi wrenching it back. Now hitting the ropes. Kawada can try and use this momentum to push him off here. He chops here. Oh, devastating chops. Back and forth. Oh, I love seeing a chop battle from two big boys. Devastating chop there. Kobashi. Oh, Kawada with a slap. And look at Kobashi firing up. Chop right across the neck. Kawada rocked. Kawada now rolling outside of the ring. To the outside. I don't think he was expecting that. Oh, I love seeing those chop battles. There's just two big dudes going at it. <laughs> Smacking each other. Ooh, the elbow there, right to the. Ooh, uh, Kabashi looked rocked a little bit there. From that striker to the side of the head as Kabashi now back in the ring. Knee pad slipping down. The injured knee. Still a cause for concern for Kabashi. Wrenching him another headlock here. Looks to be a front face lock. And when Hogan applied this to Richard Belzer. The only difference here is Kawada is still conscious. Big chop to the chest. Now off the ropes. Oh, chop again. And Kawada just runs straight through it. Charging back with a big boot knocking Kobashi off his feet. Big boot there. High kick. Rocking Kobashi and sending him outside of the ring. That's the beauty of... Uh, Kawada, they just powered straight through that chop, kept running, made a huge big boot. Kabashi tentatively getting back into the ring. 
bit scary having to get in there to share the ring with Kawada. Oh, kitchen sink. Oh, he may have hurt a rib there. The knee into the ribs. Kawada just dropping. And he's too close to the ropes. And it's him to take off and then just collapse there. He may be seriously hurt here. Kibashi trying to drag him away from the ropes so we can attempt a pinfall. Oh, he drops another knee right across the midsection. Kibashi stomping away. Going for a suplex. Look at this strength, just deadlifting Kawanda straight Oh my god. We're throwing the slam against the ropes. No, good counter from Kawanda. Now he's on top into the pinfall. Two, no. Incredible strength from Kenzo Kobashi. Pulling him up to his feet. Oh, there's a shot there from Kobashi. And again. Oh, stare down there. Kawada almost encouraging him. Is that all you got? Oh, his forearms. Chops. Oh, the machine gun chops right across the neck. Kawada. Struggling here. Gonna fire him off. Off the ropes. Good counter. Oh, and a spinning kick from Kawada. They don't call him Dangerous K for nothing. Known for being one of the stiffest strikers in all Japan pro wrestling. Perhaps even the world. Now here comes Kawada charging full speed with a kick. Sending... Kobashi crashing into the steel railing on the outside. Rolls back in. Oh, kicks to the head. The uh, ring announcer just said that 10 minutes have passed here. Oh, chops to the chest from Kobashi. Kicks to the head. Oh, but Kobashi firing up. Big slap. Oh, back and forth now. A slap exchange. You can see the sweat flying off them. Let's see someone call that fake. DDT there from Kobashi. Shades of David Schultz with that slap. And another did. Oh no, he counted. Kawanda sends him to the ground. Kick to the back. And Kobashi up onto his feet here. Oh, big slap from Kawada hitting the ropes. Going for the. Oh, devastating lariat. And Kobashi rolling under the bottom rope to the outside. Catch his breath here. Huge Lariato there from Kawada. That's a dangerous thing about him. He hits those strikes hard and fast, and the thing about him is he can just kind of come out of nowhere. And one well placed strike can really turn the whole tide of a match, as you can see here. What is up with Kawada's hair, by the way? <laughs> Just thought I'd point that out. He's pulling Kabashi back up. He doesn't want to come back in the ring. He's going to make him come back in the ring. He's trying to suplex. Oh, Kabashi could suplex Kawada to the outside. Elbows to the back of the head. Good kick. Down is Kobachi. And oh, knees at the back of the head here from Kwan, just dropping those knees straight down. And again. And Kobashi now favoring that ear. Could have ruptured an eardrum with that. Dropping those knees straight to the side of the head and to the back of the head. Oh, one for back to drive. Oh no, look at Kobashi running to the rope and hooking his arm around the top rope. Very smart there. Another chop there from Kawada. Kick. To the side of the head. Few kicks to the side of the head here. Now sending Kabashi into the corner with these kicks. Again, Kabashi trying to fire up. 
He catches him, chop right to the side of the head, and again now Kobashi firing away. Here comes Kawada again with that big brute sending Kobashi careening into the corner. He collapses now. Kobashi now sat down in the corner. He fired up and he definitely, you know, got something building. But Kawada cut it off. Good shot across the chest there. Oh, kicks to the knee. Not to the injured knee, though. Oh, you can hear those chops, too. It's Kobashi smacking across the chest of Kawada. Now with those kicks. Again, and dropping Kobashi. How many more kicks to the head can a man take? Into the corner again goes Kobashi. Definitely looking rotten. in another running boot. Straight to the head. Kobashi now slumping over in the corner here. Kobashi down. That running high kick of Toshiaki Kawada. And it's something you definitely don't want to be on the receiving end of. Kawada. Oh, big chop again to the chest. The barrel chest of, K of Kenta Kobashi. 20 minutes passed. Is that what he said? No. Sound like he said Nizhuho. Plenty. But it's probably closer to Jugo. 15. Oh, another high kick there. Kabashi just doesn't. It, the lights are on, but nobody's home. Up top. Go on, that kick. Oh, good counter there. Kabashi charging forward. Lariato! Dropping Kawada with a charging Lariat. Both men down now. Kabashi needs to get up so he can capitalize. The momentum shift. He's up first. Now gonna try and pull Kawada up. Into the ropes, Kawada hooking that top right point. Oh, elbows from Kawada. Pulling him back. No. And oh, there's a rolling kick from Kawada. Pele kick. Charging forward another high kick again. Lariat ducks. Going for that. Half Nelson suplex straight down on the neck. Half Nelson suplex. Kawada is laid out. Dropping him straight down on the stack of dimes he calls a neck. Kawada hasn't moved. He's now trying to pull Kawada back up to his feet, going for the power bomb. The last two matches they had, the, the time limit draws both ended in this position here <laughs> with the attempted powerbomb. But we're a bit far away from the 60 minute time limit now. Big boot spinning, chop, Kawada still stand, no. Bit of a delayed fall. As Kabashi comes forward now, hoisting him high into the powerbomb, rolling him over. Oh, Tiger suplex. Tiger suplex from Kobashi, and Kawada hung up on the bottom rope now. Kobashi needs to advance. Into the pin. Two, kick out there from Kawada. Get him again, another scoop slam, and Kobashi's gonna go for the moonsault. But Kawada's up. Kawada was up the cross. He doesn't realize. Grabbing hold of the leg. Kick the midsection. We've seen the, the half thousand suplex. The tiger suplex. The power bomb. Oh, God. A kick to the head from Kawada. Kabashi went for the flying shoulder tackle. Kawada got his leg up high and managed to catch him as he floated through the air. 
That could have hurt Kawada's ankle. Because there's still a lot of weight coming down straight onto his leg. But he's got Kabashi dazed for the time being at the very least. Yeah, he's got him up again. Trying to go for Brain Buster, maybe. No chop there. Oh, back and forth with the chops. These two go. Spinning kick caught. Oh, then an Enzigiri. And Kabashi falls like a redwood tree. Off that Enzigiri. Looking completely out of it. Those eyes are glazed over. Victories within reach for Toshiaki Kawada. Oh, chop to the chest. Kick to the spine, my god. Look at the force that kick. Look at the force that left shoulder flies forward with when Kawada kicks him in the back. It is brutal. Kabashi looks spent. I was going to ask, is there any fight left in him? Of course there is. There's always fight left in Kabashi. Going for it again. Kawada has him straight up. Counter there from Kawashi. Onto the pin to kill. Oh, that was close. Kick. Oh, Lariat. Falls forward. High kick again. Kobashi rocked. Backdrop driver. Backdrop driver straight down. 20 minutes gone. It's been a breezy 20, I tell you that much. Now onto the pin goes Kawan once more. Two. This is it. No. Kick out from Kobashi. That was a high, high angle backdrop driver, I tell you that much. Now, Kawada's going to go for the power bomb. Kabashi. Looking lifeless now. Kawada going to try and attempt the power bomb again. Going for it. Up into the air. Power bomb from Kawada. Folds him up to kick out from Kabashi. Kabashi with the kick out. These two are so evenly matched. It's hard to imagine anyone getting pinned in this match. We haven't seen it before. Sixty minute draw incoming. <laughs> Big brute there dropping Kobashi again. Going for another power bomb and a second one here. Could end it. Trying to hoist Kobashi up with every ounce of strength in his body. And Kobashi desperately trying to stick to the ground here. This is a test of strength. We've got a nice view of Kobashi's arms. Oh, up into the air. Another power bomb, and that will do it too. No! Kobashi kicks out again. Kicking out of another power bomb. Reverse dragon sleeper here. Actually, no, it's a regular dragon sleeper. <laughs> Trying to get to the ropes, and he does. Now trying to get Kobashi back up. Oh, kick to the back. Again. Sound is sickening. Now going for another high angle backdrop driver. 250 odd pounds landing straight on his neck. And now into another dragon sleeper from Kawada. Oh, 
And Kobashi trying to fight this now. If he can. Desperately trying and Kobashi trying to get out of this now. Oh, Kawada getting, certainly talking, increasing the pressure, and the fans trying to will Kobashi on. Kick out from Kobashi. Thought he could wear him down. Trying to crawl now to the ropes to maybe try and pull himself up because there doesn't look to be much strength left in Kobashi. Gonna try and pull him away goes Kawada. Elbow landing square in the face but doesn't seem to phase him too much. Going for another powerbomb here from Kawada or a pulling pile driver. No, he's hooked. Powerbomb. Can't get him off the ground. As much as he tries. Kawada trying, oh, Kobashi, almost counted it, the thighs of Kobashi, he's trying to backdrop, maybe to Kawada, another attempt at the backdrop, no, repositioning, maybe getting a better grip, here comes Kawada, try and look at this, back body drop, no, 25 minutes, oh, back body drop from Kobashi, on oh, then a high kick, for a brief moment, it looked like a comeback was on, but Kawada countered it with a vicious high kick. And now, oh, big shot from Kobashi. He kicked to the base from Kawada. Back and forth. Here comes Kawada with another big boot. Oh my god, Kobashi in the corner, here comes Kawada with a running high kick, a Yakuza kick if you will, or the Halufa kick. And Kobashi just looks completely out of this. And Kawada finish him off. Those kicks just coming in hard and fast. More chops. Caught the leg. Now the chops running in the back of the head from Kawada. Dragon screw from Kobashi. He's up. Oh, running kick there. Wariato! Two! Oh, kick out. Devastating Larry out of nowhere. Kabashi trying to get to his feet here. The fans willing him on. They want to see Kabashi win the Triple Crown title. Dropping the leg. And now, running again with another leg drop. He's going to go up for the, for the moonsault. Kobashi. No. Oh. Kawada rolls away. And smartly, Kobashi decides not to go for it. There's a chop. Oh god, these repeated chops. 
Power bomb from Kabashi rolling through into the bridging pin. No, Kawane gets the shoulder up. Another attempt at the power bomb, and Kabashi hoists him up effortlessly. And the crowd explodes as he goes up with a moonsault. Kobashi looking to fly! Moonsault! One, two, no! The Triple Crown title, less than a second away from being his once again. But Kobashi's gonna have to put in more. Oh, Kawada can barely stand up, and Kobashi firing up. The crowd firing up with him. Lariat, no. Kick. Oh, rolling kick to the side of the head from Kawada. Kobashi now on his hands and knees, crawling, trying to find something. Oh, spring up to his feet, burning Lariat, no. High kick. Kawada. Stepping back with another high kick. And Zagiri blocked. To the floor he falls. Lariat, oh, from Kobashi. Kawada laid out from the burning Lariat. Desperately trying to, to get back up. He does. Oh. He's trying to flee. There's an Enzigiri. And a cat and mouse there. Now both men down once more. Lay down. African making sure both men are still with it. Thirty minutes. And it's been an absolute war, but I mean, I mean, look at the track record of the last matches. We can only be halfway through. Crawling to the pin. So no. That last ditch effort just to throw the arm over. I don't think we go into a 60 minute time limit. Judging by these men right now, I don't know if they can go five more. I mean, they look completely spent here. Giving it everything they have. Leaving it all in the ring, and there's a slap from Kawada, from Kobashi. Drops back and forth again with his strike exchange. Kobashi laying a flurry. Oh, triangle choke attempt here. Kawada may, may have Kobashi trapped. He's got the arm. Transitioning armbar, no. Kobashi's got his hands locked to prevent the armbar from being fully applied. Oh no, Kawada's got it. Armbar locked in. Kobashi's got nowhere to go. He may be forced to tap. Or have his arm broken, tap or snap here. Arm cross arm breaker locked in tight. Kobashi, nowhere near the ropes either. He's slowly inching, the foot flailing. Can he find that bottom rope? He can't even see over Kawada's feet. He's gonna be going for blind luck and he hooks his toes on the bottom rope. Kobashi holding that arm. The knees weak and the arm weak, and notice it's both on the same side of the body. The right knee, the right arm. Oh, the kicks from Kawada. Disrespect and a kick to the chest. To the chest again. Oh, burning lariat! Turning Kawada inside out. And Kawada. Oh no, Kabashi used that arm that just was put in the arm breaker, that right arm. I think out of instinct just threw it. His right arm being his preferred one. And I mean, because it was just locked in that arm breaker for so long, he may have just damaged it even more. And that burning lariat, you know, it's one of his signature moves. Probably a last ditch effort just to swing it and knock Kawada off, but it may have done more harm than good to himself here. He's going to want to put this one away quickly because I don't know how much longer he's going to go with that arm. Especially if Kawada capitalizes on it. Running boot there. Oh, it gets just thrown down from Kawada. Okay, Kobashi back up. That arm may play a role if this goes on much longer. Charging Larry into the corner. Enzo Giri. Kobashi staggering, staggering. And then, oh, another burning Lariat. Again. The fans are willing Kobashi on. Just crawl across and get your arm over. That's what they want. Then the Nippon Budokan, coming alive, into the pin, hook of the leg, one, two, no, Kawada kicks out, just in the nick of time.
Getting that arm across may have been the last ounce of strength Kobachi had left. He's firing up. He's got one more trick up his sleeve. Oh, Kawada can barely even stand. What does Kawada have left? Another burning lariat! One, two, three! Kobashi's done it! Kobashi has reclaimed the AGBW Triple Crown Heavyweight Championship for the second time. Kobashi is champion once more. Finally defeating Kawada. Finally in a Kobashi Kawada match we have a decisive winner. And that man is Kenta Kobashi. Dun 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 as Grand Sword playing throughout the Nippon Budokan. An iconic song. The Eternal Underdog is now a two-time champion. Back on top of the mountain. What is next for Kensa Kobashi? We'll find out later what's next. All that matters is what's now. And what's now is that man is a Triple Crown Champion once more. Enjoy this moment. Holding his trophy high. He beat Tawei for his first belt. He's beaten Kawada for his second. There still remains one man that he's never been able to beat in a title match. That's Mitsuhari Masawa. But at the moment, Kobashi is on top of the world once again. And the fans in the Budokan could not be happier. Their boys on top once again. Let's introduce Kabashi as the new champion. It just feels good, doesn't it? Kabashi can barely even talk. I think he's a bit choked up here. Anything I'd like to say, he says, thank you. He's thanking the fans and bowing. Didn't understand most of it, sadly. They did mention um, the Tokyo Dome. Heard that. That's where Kawada beat Misawa for the belt. Uh, and Kobashi pinned Stan Hansen in a tag team match. Team with Johnny Ace to beat Vader and Hansen. I translate what I can. I know a bit, a tiny bit of Japanese, so I translate the bits that I can translate. <laughs> Everything else. I don't know. I do what I can. And Kamashi just relishing in the uh, in the fan support here. A perennial fan favourite. Now that he's got the belt, it's time to defend it. 
and some defenses will lie ahead for him. Bowing to all four corners, all four sides of the ring. Struggling to walk even, I mean, after that sort of war, should become as no surprise. Hopefully his knee heals up before his next defense, because it's still definitely a a weak point on Kobashi, that knee still being favored, still taped up. As he's being helped from the ring now. Still walking out under his own power. And you can see how much the fans love this guy. Some say if you go to the Budokan Hall on a, on a quiet night and listen carefully, you can still hear the sounds of Kobashi chants. <laughs> it for this episode. Next we're going to see Kabashi make his first defense of his new title reign. We'll cover that next time. Look forward to seeing you then. Or I won't see you but you'll hear me. You know what I mean.